So what's the conclusion in this section? Paging is complicated, yo. So I'm really aware that it is extremely difficult to absorb all of this in one sitting. The reality is, of course, people learn this after many iterations of reading the manual, fiddling with things, reading the manual, fiddling with things. The hope is that this class serves as a sort of, you know, guided tour to help you get bootstrapped faster. In a perfect world, you would watch the entire class twice because basically just the second time you're primed and, you know, you understand what you're in for and you have a good sense of what's coming. But if you don't have enough time to watch the entire class twice, I still recommend at least watching this particular section twice because it's very difficult to grasp. You know, like I said, most people, they either read the manual and iterate. Usually that takes the form of taking an operating systems class where you actually have to build an operating system that has paging support. Now, some operating system classes don't actually teach that way. When I was an undergrad, my OS class at the University of Minnesota didn't teach by forcing us to make an operating system. When I was in grad school, the undergrad class from CMU, which I took as a grad student, did force me to make an OS class. And quite frankly, I attribute that class to significant growth in my technical capability because it sort of, you know, beat me into understanding the architecture very well. So if you don't have time for taking a full operating systems class, then you should at least try to have time to take this class twice. So other than that, we mostly just looked at a ton of tables and a ton of entries in those tables in this section. There's not a lot of new assembly instructions. Just the new move register 64-bit into control registers or out of control registers, and the invalidate page assembly instruction for forcing out global pages from the TLB.